Good morning, uh, locker room f uh, fam out there and all my YouTube and Twitter subscribers. This is DJ Beanpole, uh, a little early in the morning. Uh, it's actually not that early. It's almost 10 o'clock, but uh, still a little groggy. Um, I had to film uh, this video in the car. I am not moving. I could probably take my seatbelt off. Just go ahead and get rid of that. Um, today, we are trying Pitbull Nutrition, uh, their pre-workout called Unleashed, which... This is how it came packaged to me. Right? A little shady, right? Like, what is this? This could be anything. Is it, what is this? Is this meth? Is this Coke? What? Am I supposed to snort this with a straw? Like, does the, this is the, the bottle that this comes in, does it come with a straw so I can snort it up my nose? No. This is Pitbull Unleashed V2. And uh, I actually was kind of afraid to try this because Sam was telling me that it was just going to knock me off my ass. However, I went onto Pitbull Nutrition's website and looked at their pre-workout. I think this is V2, version 2 of this pre-workout. Hopefully there's like no police officers driving by looking like, what's this guy got in his bag? He's talking to somebody on his phone. He's got this bag of white powder. Looks suspicious. But, uh, so I looked it up online. And this, kind of like Gats Nitroflex, was another one of those um, proprietary blends where the ingredient list is actually a bunch of chemical compositions and chemical compounds. Um, so looked up those, nothing to be afraid of here, guys. Niacin, we have niacin in here. We have beta alanine, caffeine, taurine, L-arginine, which I am not that big a fan of, but it's okay. Um, I think I said taurine and, uh, I know I'm missing one. There's one at the end. I know I'm missing. There were six ingredients that I looked up, um, what they were. Uh, I can't remember the other one off the top of my head. So it was all some basic ingredients. Uh, I was kind of surprised to see niacin as the first listed ingredient because usually uh, in ingredient um, ingredient uh, labels, uh, usually whatever is first is the biggest dosed ingredient in the proprietary blend. So the first thing was niacin. So if you guys have ever taken pre-workouts before and you get that flushing feeling, um, or your face might turn red, like you just feel like you just got flushed, like a bunch of blood just went to the surface of your skin on your face, and maybe your chest and your arms. That's that's nice and vitamin B6 at work. So, um, problem with filming in the car like this is that I can't uh, hold my phone at the same time. So you guys are gonna see me like this. Look at that double chin action. Uh, I'm gonna open up the, the baggie here. There we go. I already unscrewed my lid to my drink. Which, uh, take a look at my crotch. It's right there. Uh, it has a little bit of pink meal flavoring in it. And I mix this in. Mix in this cocaine here. Get all the goodies in there. Uh, and as you can see, it went right down to the bottom. So, uh, I'm going to mix this up. Maybe I'll get some workout footage. My workout partner didn't come with me today. He said he was going to be free, and then he said he had other things to do today. So, he lied! Uh, the Mio flavor, in case any of you are wondering, is uh, Cherry Limeade. It's a great value Walmart brand. It's got a little bit of caffeine in it. There's already some caffeine in here. And the Pitbull mix. The other thing I have in my pocket, which does not look so suspicious, is this. An unknown pump product. It came in a Pitbull Nutrition label, but I don't think it's Pitbull Nutrition stuff. It's a pump product. There's six pills. Uh, I am going to open this right now. And... Uh, give you guys a little uh, initial review on the flavor. So, six pills down the hatch here. But I can take all six at once. Like black licorice. <laughs> here we go. Look, you see all that stuff at the bottom? I'm shaking it. Flavor uh, is pretty bland, even with the meal in there. I can see why some people would say that Pitbull Nutrition by, or Pitbull Unleashed by itself, taste nasty because I can still taste it coming through even with the flavoring that I put in there. Very bland, very tasteless, um, but I think this is one of the staples of this uh, company is that uh, there are no dyes, no fillers, no bullshit. Uh, <clears throat> so as far as taste goes on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this a negative 6. Alright, I'm going to go uh, work out and I'll come back with post-workout. We'll do some Gat Muscle Martini. See you later. Up guys, DJ Bean Paul post workout video. Took Pitbull Nutrition's Unleashed and uh, some unknown pump product, six black pills. Put them up against the ultimate test for any pre workout. 
I almost prefer to do it on leg day just to see what kind of effects I can get because if you ain't getting them on leg day, you ain't gonna get them any other day. So, tasted, let's go off with the flavor right off the bat. Tasted like shit, even with being mixed with something sweet. I mean, Sam even put a post-it note on there that said, Pitbull Unleashed, tastes like shit, mixed with something sweet. So, I mean, if Sam's telling you that, then you know it's serious, right? Came in a little baggy, looked like cocaine. Sam told me it was one and a half servings. Um, and this is gonna be an honest review. And Sam, even if it's a negative review, the reps still need to see it because that keeps the company honest. That's how things get changed. That's how things improve. That's how you move forward. Pitbull Unleashed, uh, mediocre at best. Um, might sound all fancy with all of its fancy chemical names. Uh, I didn't even get a nice and uh, flush effect. I had no beta alanine tingles. Um, focus was, I've had better. Uh, energy levels, dismal at best. Uh, going into today's workout, I ended up squatting 290 for five, which was fine for me as long as I got more than one rep. Uh, I would have liked to have had it in the six to eight range, but uh, the weights are feeling pretty heavy today. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Really wasn't there. Woke up this morning with a sore throat, uh, but that went away. So I don't know if I'm getting sick and that's the problem or what, but uh, the energy levels, they just, they weren't there, but uh, I wasn't gonna supplement myself with anything else because uh, I wanted to make it just from Unleashed and give you guys uh, my honest opinion here. Uh, so the energy levels were on the low side. The focus levels were on the low side. My endurance was down. I was taking um, big breaks, especially in between my working sets of squats. Afterwards, uh, everything else from then on moved on pretty quickly, um, which is usually the case. Uh, very few um, pre-workouts will actually get me um, quicker endurance, at least for squats. Now, one thing I will say is that in terms of the energy levels, there was no um, cardiac side effects associated with it. I didn't notice any tachycardia or increased heart rate. Um, didn't really notice uh, any sick feeling. You know, the aftertaste is really bad, and I was like, oh, man. You know, like when you guys eat something and it's nasty and your stomach gets upset, and the more you keep thinking about what you just ate that made your stomach upset, makes you even more makes you feel more sick. That's what I was thinking was going to happen. I was going to be like, "Oh man, I have this blandest taste in the back of my throat." The first thing I did when I got to the gym was I mixed up a, a branch chain amino acid drink, uh, just so I could have some intra workout, and I had to wash it, <laughs> throw it back because I needed to get that taste out of my mouth. Oh my god, it was nasty. So let's move on to this unknown pump product, which was six pills. I have no idea what was in it. Um, and again, there were no pumps today through any of the workout at all. Um, I did squats, then I did stiff-legged deadlifts. I don't usually get any pumps from either of those two. Uh, front squats maybe, but this was back squats today. Sorry, no workout footage. Uh, then after that, I moved on to, um, let's see, what did I do next? I did uh, some step-ups, which is kind of like a lunge, um, which usually would give me pumps, and I didn't feel anything. Then I moved on to uh, uh, Good Mornings, which don't give you pumps at all. I didn't even get a sore lower back from that, which was strange. And then I did some bicep curls, and to my surprise, no pumps there either, which is really weird because usually it's the last exercise of the day. I feel like sometimes some of the pump products that I've taken before, it's like the pumps are all saved just for the arms, and I'll get like insane pumps towards the end of the workout, but I didn't feel anything today on the low side, mild at best. So honest review here from DJ Beanpole, uh, I'm going to have to say avoid it. Skip it, needs to be reformulated. Um, arginine is out. If you want pumps, try Agmatine products. Um, anything with Agmatine in it, anywhere from a gram to a gram and a half pre-workout. You can even take it before bed. It kind of has a, a glucose disposal agent properties to it. Um, but uh, you know, I really wasn't feeling anything. This workout was fasted, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it. I like doing my squats fasted. My squats and deadlifts have to be fasted. Really wasn't feeling it today, Sam. I don't know. I mean, you talked up a big game, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to give it two thumbs down. Wasn't feeling it. Didn't like it. Um, there are better things out there. There are better flavored things out there with better effects that are out there. Uh, so this is DJ Honest Review. I'm going to go take Muscle Martini from Gat. I decided to make that a separate review. So this will be a different video. Uh, if you want to see today's workout, you go to my website. I will uh, try to update it the best I can, djbeanpole.com. If there's any workout days from any uh, workout review videos you want me to check, um, let me know. I can post those workouts up. I haven't been doing a good job of posting the workouts to my website, but I'll do it today. This is DJ signing off.